What's up, y'all? Happy Tuesday. So, it is Triple Threat Tuesday, which is my serious workout day. So, I did um, a little over a mile with the pup today. And we did speed walking, no jogging, because my lower back was hurting. I have been going back and forth with that. Um, and then at lunch, did a serious workout. Um, we did shoulders and back. Um, the girl at my work, she kicked my butt. <laughs> she um, is also doing a lot of lifting and training with some people. So I worked out with her and it's always good to incorporate some new exercises and really give some muscles that you don't always use a workout. I do shoulders and back all the time, but with her exercises, it just, I'm telling you, it's hurting me to hold the camera right now. Ugh. I used to watch Truly Jess and now I understand when she says that her arms are sore from holding her camera after a serious workout, because I feel it. Um, and I'm getting ready to go to Zumba. So I've got my headband already ready to go from earlier today because it started raining on me while I was walking. And I'm going to make a protein shake um, to get me ready for a pre-workout. I was supposed to crock pot a chicken, which I forgot to do today. So I'm going to throw a chicken in the oven and the boyfriend can pull it out when he gets home. And I'll do a little video into that and we'll get this party started. All right, everybody. So I am not liking this angle of me at all, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to do a protein shake. Um, I have a bunch of good fruit, but for some reason I am really craving like a Reese's peanut butter cup kind of protein shake. So that's what I'm going to do. So. I have every ingredient, except I forgot to bring out my protein powder. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do in this one is normally when I do protein shakes, I fill it with frozen fruit usually so that I don't have to use any ice. It keeps mine from getting really icy and watery, but since I'm not using any fruit in this one, I just have some ice cubes. I am going to take one scoop of whey protein powder. You can probably use any protein powder you like. I'm going to also include some PB2. Mandy M commented on this on um, her blog not too long ago. I found out about this from Truly Jess from Truly Daily's blog and I love PB2. When I heard about it, I was skeptical. It is powdered peanut butter. That sounds weird to me, but I am now a believer. It is made with roasted peanuts, sugar, and salt. That's it. Um, it is 85% of the, um, the fat and oil from regular peanut butter is removed. So two tablespoons is 45 calories. That is awesome. More importantly, it's only five carbs, which for me who watches carbs, that is even better. I'm going to add Ghirardelli unsweetened cocoa. One tablespoon of this is 20 calories. So between the chocolate and the peanut butter, you've already got 65 calories, which is not bad. And then this first scoop is like a hundred and something. And I'm going to add some spinach because why wouldn't you? I don't know. It's sweet and it blends and it, I feel more nutritious if I add some spinach to it. And then I have the unsweetened hemp milk. This is a really long video on how to make a protein shake, which I'm sure most of you know how to do, but some of you don't. So. It's always good to get fun ideas on protein shakes because for any of us who eat them all the time, um, just new combinations keep it fun and exciting and we don't get bored. So I'm going to blend this baby up. Um, it's going to look nice and smooth. I'm not really going to waste your guys' time on doing that, but I will tell you right now, it's probably delicious. I may show you the results. Okay, serious finished product. Not as pretty as a normal um, peanut butter chocolate shake because it has a green tint to it. So good. Mmm. So, so good. Such a great pre-workout. Now it's time for me to get ready and get my workout on. Hey, y'all. I know I said I was getting ready to work out, but I did end up getting my chicken in the oven. So just wanted to give you a little view. 
and I did um, sprayed some oil on the bottom of the pan, put a little mushroom broth in there, organic, seasoned the chicken with a Cajun spice, lots of garlic, because I told you I don't cook without it. Um, what else do we have on there? One lemon, I guess juice from one lemon, juice from one lime, and some fresh rosemary. So put that bad boy in the oven for 350 degrees for 90 minutes. Can't wait to come home and have some yummy dinner with leftover sweet potato mash and some Brussels sprouts or asparagus. We'll see what the boyfriend cooks. I apologize in advance for any vegetarians. This was probably not enjoyable. My apologies, but it's going to be really yummy. All right, let's get to work out. Dun, dun, dun. And here is the final product of the baked chicken. It looks so yummy. I am ready to eat. And then we have the asparagus in the pan, steaming. Uh-oh, the dog is excited. And I am getting ready to eat dinner. I'm super tired. Zumba was great, but exhausting. And my dog's going crazy, so everybody have a good night. Can't wait to eat this dinner and talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.